climate change could end human civilization as we know it by 2050, analysis finds by Carly Casella on Science Alert. A doomsday ending to climate change is not inevitable, but the situation is becoming ever more desperate without immediate and drastic action. Reminiscent of efforts during World War II, a new analysis predicts that by 2050, climate change could become an existential threat to human civilization that can never be undone. A new report co-written by a former executive in the fossil fuel industry is hurrying follow-up to the Breakthrough National Center for Climate Restoration 2018 paper, which found that climate models often underestimate the most extreme scenarios. Endorsed by former Australian Defence Chief Admiral Chris Barry, the message is simple. If we do not take climate action in the next 30 years, it's entirely plausible that our planet warms by 3 degrees Celsius and that human civilization as we know it collapses. Under this scenario, the authors explain the world would be locked into a hothouse earth scenario where 35% of the global land area, 55% of the global population will be subject to more than 20 days a year of lethal heat conditions beyond the threshold of human survivability. Ecosystems will collapse, including coral reefs, the Amazon rainforest and the Arctic. North America will suffer from devastating wildfires, heat waves, and drought. The great rivers of Asia will be severely reduced, as will water availability right across the world, affecting roughly 2 billion people. Rainfall in Mexico and Central America will fall by half, and agriculture will be non-viable in the dry subtropics. Semi-permanent El Nino conditions will prevail, and deadly heat waves will per persist in some areas for more than 100 days a year. More than a billion people will be displaced. Quote, this scenario provides a glimpse into the world of outright chaos on the path to the end of human civilization, modern society as we have known it, the author writes, in which the challenges to global security are simply overwhelming and political panic becomes the norm, end quote. The only solution, they argue, is a revolutionary worldwide zero-carbon energy industrial and economic strategy focused less on climate models and more on extreme scenario planning. To reduce this risk and protect human civilization, a massive global mobilization of resources is needed in the coming decade to build a zero emissions industrial system and set in train the restoration of a, self, a safe climate, end quote. The report explains this would be akin in scale to the World War II emergency mobilization. While climate models are useful for research, the paper points out that these tools often err on the side of caution and focus on middle-of-the-road outcomes. By ignoring the high-end possibilities, we're therefore ill-prepared for an expected catastrophic event, one which we really should have seen coming. This might sound overly dramatic or alarmist, but the probability of this happening is likely higher than we think. Most climate models today are conservative and do not take into account tipping points and positive feedback loops that could amplify warming like the release of greenhouse gases from thawing permafrost, the loss of West Antarctic glaciers, and reduced ocean and terrestrial CO2 removal from the atmosphere. With a runaway event like this, climate change will not present as a normal distribution, but instead will be skewered by a fat tail, indicating a greater likelihood of warming that is well in excess of average climate models. Under a business-as-usual scenario, the author explains, warming is set to reach 2.4 degrees Celsius by 2050. If feedback cycles are taken into account, however, there may be another 0.6 degrees Celsius that current models do not assume. The paper adds, it should be noted that this is far from an extreme scenario. The low probability, high impact warming, 5% probability, can exceed 3.5 to 4%, uh, 4 degrees Celsius by the year 2050. This policy paper is published by the Breakthrough National Center for Climate Restoration.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.